It's a great effort by the team. Uh, I know we were excited to uh, have another opportunity against Penn after they beat us 7-0 uh, last year when we played them at their place. So we were excited for the opportunity and the opportunity to play at home at our outdoor tennis complex, Halton, Halton Wagner Tennis Complex. It was just uh, yeah, a lot of fun to be out there on Wednesday. Um, you know, starting with the doubles, I thought, you know, we did a, we did a pretty good job overall. Um, you know, we got up a break on, on three dubs uh, relatively quickly, um, got up a break two dubs right away, um, got up a break at one. We, yeah, we were up a break on all three courts early. Um, Penn sort of flipped the momentum there for a little bit and got things going back their way for a second. But Ben and Ignazi did a great job to, to really start us off getting a 6-0 at, at two dubs and really play a, one of their best doubles matches of the spring, I thought. So that was great. Um, and then it was a battle at one and three. Uh, you know, it was a battle to see who was going to finish first there at the end. Luca, Luca and Dinos were serving for their doubles match at one and then uh, Oliver and Leo at three had a, played a great return game at the 5-4 uh, return game to break and get the doubles point which you know I thought was huge um, give us the momentum going into singles and just really get the guys feeling like yeah like you know this is this is a match that we are more than capable of, of winning um, and then in singles um, you know Penn uh, started out well at, at uh, four um, you know Dinos unfortunately didn't have his best day uh, in singles that day and so they even the score pretty quickly won a piece um, but besides that you know I think we got four first sets in singles uh, so we were looking really good out of the gates overall um, you know the energy was really good our guys were battling hard um, competing really well you know it was uh, the the second point of the day for us uh, being Ignazi um, was really exciting and great you know he's really uh, battled here these past four or five weeks. He's played a ton of really good players, uh, you know, and just has come so close and hasn't been able to get over that hump here. And for him to win that match uh, in that kind of crucial moment there where that match could have gone either way was huge. And I think is ultimately why we landed up winning the match, but uh, it was great to see him get back on the right track against a really good player. Uh, Graziani is a, is a very good player, only a freshman. That guy is going to continue to get better. So um, that was great for the second point. And then, you know, maybe a minute and a half later, Ben gets the third point of the day for us, uh, um, plays, a, plays another, you know, great match uh, uh, by Ben getting another straight set victory, um, you know, putting the third point on the board. And then, you know, took a little time there. Garst was in a battle, lost his third set, um, had a battle there. And this was 3-2 and it's down to Oliver and Luca. And uh, Luca, again, uh, rose to the occasion, uh, beating a guy that he lost to in straight sets last year. Um, I know he was really excited about that one, was able to flip the script on that guy to clinch the 4-2 win. And then, you know, Oliver had plenty of opportunities there. Unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to close it out there. But uh, Overall, it was, a, it was a good team win. Um, you know, I think our guys are, are proud of uh, what they accomplished there on Wednesday and are just excited about uh, what we have coming up here in these next few weeks. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for them. You know, it's always nice to be recognized for uh, your hard work and your accomplishments. So uh, it's definitely a testament to them. Yeah, it's great to, great to you know, see where we've come uh, so far as a program. Um, I think maybe we had one uh, my first year here and we've, I think, continued to, to build off of that momentum. But um, at the end of the day, it's, it's because of how hard these guys work. And, um, you know, I'm just excited uh, to see them have this success. And we're just going to continue to push hard and hopefully uh, have these guys win some more of those awards as the season progresses. Yeah, I, I think when we built this schedule uh, a little over a year and a half ago, close to two years ago, I think you know, we, we felt that we were going to have a team that was going to be able to compete with these types of teams. Um, that was, that was always the plan. Um, I think as a competitor, you want to play against the best, you know, I, I don't see why you wouldn't want to, uh, put yourself up against the best in the country and see, see how you fare. Um, and also I think it, it allows you to get better, you know, because sometimes when you play a really good team, it's going to expose maybe what you're not as good at, and it's going to allow you to start working on those things. And I think, Early in the season when we played a couple of those top 25 programs, uh, you know, we saw exactly what it is that we needed to work on. We've addressed some of those things, and I think now because of that, it's allowed us to play better against some of these top, uh, top programs. So, um, you know, I, I think the guys have really enjoyed it, enjoyed this opportunity. The way that we've approached every match, regardless of who we've played this year, it's been another opportunity to get better, work on our games, improve, compete hard. Um, so that's really what we've been focused on. and. Uh, yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt from a recruiting perspective. I think, you know, players players in, in the U.S. and elsewhere 
they also want to play good schedules and compete against the best. So, you know, we can certainly show them that here at Charlotte. And um, we're just excited for uh, another fun weekend of uh, three tough matches.